Getting hot in here. Ooh, someone fan me down. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobo Kia statue review on the Marvel Now Uncanny X Men Artifacts Plus PX exclusive Magneto. If you're trying to pick this up, you cannot pre order it at Big Bad Toy Store as the pre orders are sold out, but I'm sure you'll be able to find this at your local comic book shop. And I gotta give a big thanks to Kotobo Kia for making this review possible. If you wanna see the latest from them, check the links below. I really like the packaging over here. We get all kinds of comic art throughout. I really dig that. On the side, we get Uncanny X Men right over there. And then on the back, you can see some product images of the statue, and then there's a read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now. Then on this side, we get a nice image of Magneto. And then on the top, it says Marvel now. And then on the bottom, uh, much going on. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Magneto out of the packaging, just looking awesome. I love this white paint with the shadowing effect, especially on the cape over here. We do get pearlescent white with shadowing over it, and it just looks stunning to me. Now, there is some assembly required, as you can see right here. It comes into some pieces, so there's some snap and fit going on, but it's very easy to put together. Uh, I just think this is just a gorgeous looking piece. I really like it a lot. Now, the base over here, you do get the standard issue Artifacts Plus magnetized base. So you can see the helmet over here just glistens nicely. I really dig that a lot and the silver paint looks really good with it and you can see his face underneath We get some nice flesh tone and some variants of colors right there I like how the eyes are totally whited out Just looking at the side of the helmet right over here Then looking at the cape again as I had mentioned I just really like how they added the shadowing effect over the pearlescent white I just think that's a great touch. I love that they did that it looks really cool to me. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the whole figure <laughs> or the statue anyway nice wrinkles sculpted throughout over here and looking at the arms, we get some nice flesh tone once again with some more shadowing with the paint. And then you can see the pearlescent and then you have the matted white right over there. And then the black lines came out really clean. Again, it's the same sculpt as the other Magneto that we'd gotten from Kotobukiya. So the sculpt is the same. Then looking at the X logo right there. The nice silver paint apps right on all those pouches. The nice sculpt throughout. Yeah, it just came out looking very clean. They did such a good job. And of course, he does have the magnets underneath his feet, which I did not show earlier, but well, that's fine. Really good looking statue. I really dig this a lot. And measuring out this statue with the base, you can see he's standing at about eight inches tall. Without the base, he's standing closer to just over seven inches. And you can get him to stand without the magnetic base. However, I do not recommend it. Then for your Magneto comparison, here's the PX exclusive compared to the regular version over here. I gotta say, I like this one more. We're just getting more paint. There's just more details popping out on this version. But I will say though that the flesh tone on the black one, there is more paint variation on that shadow shadowing effect for his arm compared to this. This looks a bit more flat when I see it next to that one right there. And then here's Magneto with the other Marvel Now Artifacts Plus X-Men statues. And I don't know how much I like this now compared to these other X-Men. I feel like it's just a little bit too much contrast. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have the black one displayed with the rest of the X-Men. I think that may look a little bit better. However, I still like how this looks on its own. And then here's Magneto next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I don't know if you guys haven't seen my review of the regular version of this Magneto. I highly recommend you check out that video. I'm curious, which one do you prefer? The black version or this white version over here? I think they're both very cool, but due to the detailing, I like this one a bit more. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you want to see my review of the Mezco Toys Katana figure, go ahead and click that button right over there. And if you want to see my latest P.O. Box pickups video, go ahead and click that button right over there. And if you want to support this YouTube channel, please check out the Patreon account. Your help is much appreciated. And you can see a photo gallery of Images over at marvelousnews.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. And we do get the mag.